Hey guys, it's Alyssa and I'm back with another video. So for today's video, I thought it would be really fun to take you through some of the prep behind my launches. I do one launch per month every single month and it is the first Tuesday of every single month around 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I post a theme dropped on my Etsy shop and post some items on my Mercari page as well and soon planning to post them on TikTok shop as well because that will be launching this week. I'll be talking more about that at the end of this video. So I just wanted to take you along with me with some of the things that I do to get ready and then also I'll show you at the end some of the products that are launching uh, with this new blue themed drop.
Alright guys, it is 15 minutes away from the launch. It is 7.45 and I'm just getting all the last minute stuff done. All the little products and everything on my Etsy ready to go so that I can make the post at 8 o'clock that uh, the new Summertime Blues drop is here. I'm so excited! Alright guys, so after getting all of those thank you cards ready and getting everything posted, I thought it would be really fun to show you some of the items that are still available currently as of me posting this video, uh, uh, recording this video really, but I will assume I will edit it out if it's not available anymore um, before I post this on Monday. So I just wanted to show you some of the cute items that I launched. I was honestly a little obsessed with this launch with the whole blue theme. I just thought it was so gorgeous it came together perfectly and I have another really fun color themed drop coming up later this year and I am so so excited for that. I will talk about my next drop though. It's not the color theme one but I think it's going to be a lot of fun. So let's see what's still available from this blue theme drop. So one of the things I loved so much was something I had held on to forever. <laughs> I got these back at the uh, Springfield Antique Mall that I went to. I will make sure and put a video either in the card or at the end of this uh, video of when I went to that antique mall because I took you along with me and you probably saw these glasses in that haul if you've watched that video before. Uh, but these are False Graph Yorktown wine glasses. I had never seen uh, False craft glass before always you know ceramic stoneware that that stuff is very popular and I see that all the time but I had never actually seen the glass and I think the ombre on this is just so so gorgeous so I launched a set of these and honestly that was the inspiration for the whole blue theme uh, so yeah that's still available currently on my Etsy shop all the links for all of these products will be down in the description so if you're interested in checking any of them out or purchasing any of them you can find them there the next thing I found I thought were just so beautiful. These are these uh, Fedco. It's a specific person's name. Fagan, I think it's pronounced McChis McChisney um, or McChesney. And it's Fedco. I could not find any information about this. So I would just assume it's just some pottery, you know, maker creator whatever uh, but it's just two little like ice cream sized bowls they have like little teas in them for some reason uh, but I just think the color is so gorgeous on these and yeah I was a little obsessed when I found them <laughs> so again they were a great inspiration for this blue themed drop so both of those are still available Next up was something that I got for free, and it was this adorable little kind of almost creamer pitcher, but I also view it as maybe a potential little vase hold, a vase, or it could be like a Q-tip holder, match holder, whatever you want to use it for, but I just think it's super cute, even if you just pop it up on a shelf by itself alone, uh, maybe some baby's breath in it. I just think it's so adorable, and I love the little blue bells on there. Um, again, it's not necessarily a fully blue item, but it fits so perfectly with the interior being blue and then the flowers on the front. So this was just a really cute find and again for free, which I think is awesome. So uh, that is currently still available on my Etsy shop. The next thing was something that I just thought was really pretty again for the floral accents that are blue. I love this. This is called like a Takahashi bowl and it's like a soup bowl and it's got that cute little handle on it uh so yeah i just thought this was really pretty and even though it wasn't something that was fully blue because of the blue florals i just thought it fit perfectly with this drop all right and then the last thing i'm going to show you guys today is this like concrete <laughs> uh very very heavy duty planter it can either be used as a planter or i also did some research where i found similar bowls being used as like pet bowls um, but yeah, it's really heavy duty and cute blue. It's like, you know, glazed. So very, very cool stuff for the blue themed drop. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching my video of prepping for my launch for my, uh, summertime blues launch. I thought it was probably one of my best launches that I've had and one of my best, uh, drops that I've had that I just enjoyed 
from start to finish, from sourcing to planning to, you know, the promotion of it and then the drop itself. Everything just went so perfectly and I am very excited and I really hope that that continues to be the case for my next upcoming drops. Speaking of my next upcoming drops, the next one is going to be on August 6th and that is my fall drop and I'm so excited for this. I've already started sharing some items on social media that will be a part of this drop and believe me you do not want to miss out on it because the items are so so gorgeous lots of amber glass because colored glass is just it's been my thing in 2024 not gonna lie <laughs> uh, but it's very very fun i'm already pretty much full when it comes to the sourcing for this so i might add a few more items but I'm pretty much good with it, what I have currently for this August drop and I will try and film a little bit more too of the prep of this drop, this upcoming drop as well. Another little shop update for you is the fact that I am opening a TikTok shop. This is something I actually posed as a question on a poll on my Instagram and everyone said go for it. <laughs> so I just thought it would be a really cool way to share my vintage products. I've never really seen any other vintage shops post items on TikTok shop. Um, maybe because TikTok shop is kind of a new thing and it's a little bit more unique as far as uh, purchasing goes because a lot of purchasing is made through, you know, posting videos about certain products. And with vintage, it's kind of hard to do that because it's, you know, one thing that you have. Not a lot of things are, you know, multiples. You, you really... I only have one of these, you know, so if, if something goes viral and the first person that gets it is the first person that gets it. So that's kind of a unique challenge that comes to, I think, vintage and antique shops if they wanted to try and launch a TikTok shop. But I am planning on trying to do a few more giftable items and also some mystery items. So I already do a mystery box, but I decided that I'm going to do another mystery box that's a little bit smaller. And this is what I'm going to do when I launch my TikTok shop later this week. And that is a vintage mystery uh, mug box. And so it'll just be a different uh, vintage mug every single time you buy it. Kind of a lower ticket price item. Uh, uh, something that's really fun and unique, I think. So that will be launching later this week, I think on Wednesday. <laughs> I'll need to check and see on the dates for sure. I'll put it on this video, like on a comment somewhere. But I'm very excited about that. So if you don't follow me on TikTok, make sure to do so because it's going to be a lot of fun over there when that gets launched. I'm going to have to come up with some really unique ways to, again, showcase my products so that I can plug them in <laughs> to the videos uh, for TikTok shop. All right, guys. Well, that is everything as far as my new launch and also what is upcoming for my shop. So again, thank you so much for watching. Make sure and like and subscribe. If you are a small business owner, please let me know about your small business. Tell me your shop name in the comments down below because I would love to check it out. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.